never thought I'd die because of a squirrel. Yet here we are. Spoiler, I didn't die. No thanks to the squirrel. I was biking along, working towards my goal of biking 2,024 miles in 2024. I was in a recumbent bike with my prosthetic leg strapped to the pedal. It was mile 974. I was on a deserted road, heading for a downhill turn, when a squirrel with a death wish runs right in front of my wheel. I reflexively slammed on the brakes. That's when everything went wrong. I had just enough time to think uh -oh. before the back end of the bike lifted off the ground. I had another split second to reflect that my leg was still strapped to the bike. However this ends, my bike and I are in it together. I flew over the handlebars, my leg still attached to the bike, and landed standing on my feet feeling like, what just happened? But also feeling like I had ninja skills, or maybe just really good luck. I didn't even wobble or trip. What happened is really hard to describe, so I'm going to attempt to show you. Just pretend both of my feet are on the pedals and that my leg is in the socket and that I'm flying over the handlebars and there's a squirrel trying to kill me. Basically, the pedal rotated at the same time that the back of the bike rose and dumped me on my feet. So I landed, still attached to the bike, standing on both feet in front of it. I turn around, looking for the squirrel, certain he's deadbeat. Guess we're having squirrel stew tonight. Then I see him up a tree, scolding me at the top of his lungs. That's gratitude for you. I practically killed myself trying to save the ingrate, and all he could do is complain. I just wish someone had filmed it. I mean, shouldn't the squirrel have an iPhone or something? A crazy story I did catch on camera is when I jumped out of a wheelchair going 30 miles an hour down a mountain. True story. It was about seven or eight weeks post amputation, and I decided to go for a stroll through the mountains or more accurately, a roll, since I was in a wheelchair. The wheelchair in question was an outdoor racing wheelchair that someone had lent me. I wasn't very familiar with it. There's this tight little cage that you shimmy down into. Instead of two small front casters, there's one large front wheel, and that's where all your steering and braking is controlled. So I'm going along, enjoying the fall scenery, when I get to the mouth of the canyon. It's pretty steep, but I'm pretty stubborn, so up I went. Gravity was not in my favor. I'd push on my wheels, struggling to go up, but in that split second that it took to move my hand from the bottom of the wheel back to the top, gravity would threaten to drag me back down the mountain. Plus, you have to be really mindful of your center of balance, otherwise you could tip the whole chair. Despite the obstacles, I crawled my way up that mountain. It never occurred to me that my efforts were like a slap in the face to gravity. I made it up the hill! Insulted by my defiance, gravity was about to exact vengeance. They say that what goes up must come down. I felt like I'd earned an exhilarating downhill rush after that long uphill slog. I race you down the hill. So I turned to go back down to where the car was parked. Off I went. Okay, here we go. The acceleration was building, and believe it or not, I'm not a daredevil, so I decided to rein it in. I reached for the brake, but nothing happened. That's the problem. Then I realized I didn't have steering either. The whole front of the wheelchair was locked up. No steering, no brakes, accelerating fast with a curve and gravel ahead of me. Then the chair started doing the death wobble. I'm pretty calm in a crisis, and I remember thinking, very matter-of-factly, that there was no way this chair was not going to crash. And when the inevitable occurred and the chair crashed, I didn't want to be in it. With my legs pinned in that cage, I could picture the chair rolling with me in it breaking my neck, or at the very least, crushing my freshly amputated leg. I wasn't sticking around for that, so I bailed. I got poised to spring, waiting for the chair to hit the dirt, hoping the gravel would slow it down at least a little. You can't see the speedometer anymore, so take my word for it. I was going about 30 miles an hour. The chair hit the dirt and I jumped. It was the best brake fall of my life. That black belt in Aikido really paid off. I hope Sensei's proud. I didn't even hit my legs, knees, or hips, and I remembered to turn my face so I didn't break my nose. I did lose the skin on my forearms, but by contrast, the wheelchair's frame was so bent that the wheel wouldn't turn. So I'd say I got off easy. That could have been me. I wasn't that far from my minivan, so I loaded up the wheelchair and was on my way to go get patched up. Oh, I look tough. 
Just like with the squirrel crash, I couldn't help feeling incredulous that such an unexpected and dangerous situation had ended so well, which just goes to show that my guardian angels are exhausted and deserve a raise. I'm Stephanina, and sometimes I have the weirdest adventures. If you'd like to see more, I'll link some right here. And whatever you're going through, hang in there and watch out for squirrels.